Hey, what's up guys and welcome back once again to Chris Aquariums. Today we've got two things happening, both of which are quite exciting, so let's get started. As you know on this channel, I've been starting up my saltwater tank, my very first saltwater tank, and we've got two clownfish in there. First things first, let me show you how they're doing. So trust me when I tell you that as quickly as the lymphocysis, I think that's how it said, came on is as quickly as it went off. Like I said in the last video, I woke up one morning and was there, and just like that, I woke up one morning and it was gone. Now, the reason for that is all the steps that we took, the paraguard that we used, making sure the water quality and the nutrition, everything was in order. But as you can see, there is no trace of it, no sight, and these clownfish are happy, healthy, vibrant, and incredibly colorful and happy in their tank. So as you can see, they're looking great. Everything is going well. The water parameters, the tank, the filtration, everything is in order. So it's about that time that we start adding some other creatures to the tank, namely anemones. So today is Friday. On Tuesday, I bought a bubble tip anemone, which we introduced into the salt water tank. So I took some footage, let me talk you through it. What's up guys? Today is an exciting day, and isn't it always an exciting day when you get to pick up stuff for your fish tank? Um, the saltwater tank has been running for about three months now between cycling and one month successfully with the clownfish in. You'll also see that the clownfish are doing absolutely brilliantly, perfectly healthy. So it's time now to introduce an anemone. Uh, so we're going to be getting a red bubble tip anemone that I'm on the way to pick up now and we're going to introduce that into the saltwater tank. I'm currently on the way back home. We've got the bubble tip anemone with us. Um, it's a tiny tiny one. The reason being I really like to get things when they're small, when they're babies and to watch them grow. I do that with all of my fish, all my tanks. Um, I'm not going to show it now because I'm busy driving. Um, but man, this guy's tanks were awesome. I'm going to show you a picture. Uh, he's got one freshwater tank and one saltwater, both right next to each other. Really awesome tanks. Check this out. But anyways, so let's get this home and then we'll start the acclimation process. Uh, I'll see you there. So we got the red bubble tip anemone home. And what that means is that we have to start with acclimation. Now with anemones, they are very soft creatures. Um, they don't have any kind of exoskeleton or internal skeleton, uh, technically known as invertebrates. So they're very sensitive to the water parameters, the salinity, the alkalinity, uh, which is the pH and the temperature. So of course we have to acclimate the anemone. We did that by putting it into a bowl and slowly drip acclimating by using a syringe, uh, dripping water from the tank into the bowl until it doubles in volume. And then you empty out half of it, double that volume again, and then you can put it in the tank. So once the acclimation was done, we're ready to put in the anemone and here's some footage from that. Anemones are well known to move around the tank. Uh, they have a foot which they use to grab onto the rock, but also to move all across the tank. So he didn't say where he was. He moved across for the first couple of days, but I think he's found a place that he's kind of liking at the moment.
Right now, it's the evening of the next day, and the anemone seems to be doing fine. The only thing is that he's chosen, in my opinion, um, a bit of a weird spot. You know, I would thought you'd want to be at the top of the rock, getting the flow and the light. So, but I mean, he, uh, I'm sure, knows better than me, I guess. Um, so it's a bit of a weird spot, but it is only the day after, and you know, he's still got a lot of time to, to settle in and to find the spot that he likes. So we'll leave him to it, and I'm going to pick up the camera in a few days or a week, let him get settled in, make sure everything's going well. It's the next morning, and he's moved again to what I think is a much, much better location. So it's been about three days now as we're filming this that we've had the bubble tip anemone in the tank. I read online that it takes a week to two weeks before they're fully comfortable with the new environment and before they open up and do well. So he's a bit timid at the moment, but I think we have something that might help that along the process. Let me get to that. So now that we're in the reef keeping game, the one thing that's really important that I've read is the holy grail for reefing is the lighting. And it's about time that we stepped up our game, especially now that we're getting anemones and invertebrates and corals down the line. Which is why today we picked up this. This is a Zet light, Z-E-T-L-I-G-H-T. Uh, apparently has won the best aquarium equipment award in the second CIPS International Marine Aquascaping Contest. It's a good light. Uh, I haven't even opened this before, so let's open this up and have a look. There it is. That's beautiful. So as you can see, there's a lot of pieces. This needs to be put together. So I'm gonna assemble this and then we'll come back. Take a look at this tiny screwdriver. Okay guys, the Z light is set up, fully functional, ready to go. I'm really excited to put this in, let's get to it. So this is what we have currently, which was just the light from the old goldfish tank. Obviously when it was fish only, that was fine, but that has to go. I also think this will look much better. And this is the tank wrap that I built myself, just to cover up all the filtration underneath. This is what it looks like currently. Now, there's a lot of things that are gonna to happen to the tank over time, which is gonna make it look good. But for the meantime, I just wanna build a cover for the stand so that it looks more smooth, seamless, and more aesthetic for the space. And this is the after shot. So we've now wrapped a barrier around the guts of the tank uh, where all the filtration and the cables go through. There's a small place at the top where I can put my hand through to turn things on and off, uh, just a bit of easier access, but I think it looks a lot better. Okay, we're ready for the light. Three, two, one. Yes. And other way. Daylight. Nightlight. Man, that is cool. That is really cool. Hey. Now we're talking.
And that's it for today's episode, guys. This is just the beginning. Now that we have the proper lighting, it means we can get all of the anemones and corals and chalices and polyps that we want. So this is just the start. And guys, if you like this kind of stuff, aquariums and reefs and ponds, uh, and if you like this video specifically, feel free to leave a like on the video. If there's anything you want to know, comment, any suggestions, put them in the comments below. And if you want to see more about this, subscribe to the channel. And I will see you once again, as always, on Chris Aquariums.